evening and welcome to News Geelong on this Wednesday evening as we only have four more sleeps to go before our 2011 Christmas Day is with us. Warra Lily at Armstrong Creek, Geelong's newest expansion and its newest development has over 2,200 lots in three stages in progress at the present time. Warra Lily is located between Geelong and Torquay along the Surf Coast Highway. The Spirit Adventure cruise ship was formally welcomed to Geelong during a lunchtime reception at the Royal Geelong Yacht Club this week. In the world of pulsating sports, Mitch Scoop Cleary will report on all that is happening in and around the Geelong region, while scintillating Sophie Miller will update us with the latest Geelong and Surf Coast areas weather expected over the coming Christmas period. The International Cadet Australian Championships for Sailing will hold its 50th event from December 27 at Lake Macquarie in New South Wales with two major awards up for grabs, the Individual Boat Championship and the Tillet Crew Boat Championship. Geelong will be represented in the challenge against early favourites Tasmania and South Australia. Merrill Friend has more. We're here at the Royal Geelong Yacht Club and our Geelong youngsters are representing Geelong and Victoria in the Tillet team for the national titles with the International Cadet class. We were able to catch up with them. Now, Liam, tell us what the Tillet team actually is. Well, it's a state, run, a state team and we do a regatta. Uh, it changes from each yacht club around the state. And we do a regatta there. The top seven boat, or top six boats are represented at nationals and their like, score is counted. And they verse other team states around the nation and then whoever has the best score wins, the Tillet team. Competition for the Tillet team was held up in Sandringham over two days. What was the competition like and what were the conditions like, Charlie? Uh, the wind was all over the shot really. The first day it was a bit light and then picked up and then the second day it was really, really windy and lots of people didn't finish the races. Okay, so you're, uh, Liam and Charlie are in the team and Darcy, you're a reserve and that they've been used before as well. So you're seventh in the state. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> all right, and after the uh, selection for the Tillet team, you've also got the Nationals and that's at Lake Macquarie. Tell us a bit about that, Liam. Well, it's, um, yeah, the Nationals, is, there's around 60 boats this year and we all compete. There's all from different states, Tasmania, New South Wales, Victoria and South Australia. They all come around. We just versus each other. Uh, why is the Victoria team and all the state teams called the Tillet teams? A long time ago, the, the Tillet, I think they were brothers and sisters to the last name Tillet, they won the Nationals three years in a row and so they um, named the state team for each uh, each state after the Tillets. Okay, and Darcy, what is it about sailing cadets that you like so much? Uh, you're always learning new things, yep. and it's great fun, good people around, yep. and yeah, that's it's about terrific. it. Well, we wish you all the best. You're representing Victoria, and you're from good old Geelong, so congratulations, and we hope you do really, really well. From the Royal Geelong Yacht Club, Merrill Friends, News Geelong. Thank you, Merrill. The blue skies at Warra Lily, Armstrong Creek, Stage one of the major development has sold out, while stage two, the Warralilly Coast, and stage three, the Warralilly Promenade, now selling as works continue to mark this as another huge success to the long-term planning of our city of Greater Geelong. Ian Nichols gives us an update. Well, this week, another milestone for Armstrong Creek. The first roads are in place, the asphalting's completed, it's looking very good, and of course we'll see houses start to be built here early in the new year. We're at the southern end on the Barwon Heads Road, and would you believe the Mayor of the City of Greater Geelong, John Mitchell, Mr Everywhere, is on hand to celebrate. This Warrell Lily development, which is uh, the first development out here at Armstrong Creek, is, uh, is really going right ahead. Uh, as you can see, most of the work, the underground work, which has taken all the time, is, uh, has been finished. And, uh, you know, it won't be long before we start seeing houses built on this, uh, on this uh, fantastic green development. Well, that's right. We've been waiting eagerly to see this happen and uh, all of a sudden uh, the time has almost arrived. We'll see people here, I would think, very early in the new year. The titles need to be fixed up There's no, and that'll take about four weeks. But uh, after that, you'll see some construction. And uh, one of the things uh, I'd like to say about all of this out here is that it is, it is, it's got fibre in it, it's got a uh, third pipe, it's, it's a really green construction. So it's the way of the future. And uh, 
for those people that have said that it's um, you know it's built uh, where there has been a fair bit of water in the past, the hundred mils uh, that we had out here the other week, there was still over a metre left in the uh, you know in the uh, catchment area. That uh, so I would suggest um, you know it's uh, it's it's all good for the future. Well, this is very very exciting. You know uh, you know development uh, you know here on this Armstrong Creek estate uh, and Warrel Lily is the first to go with it. Is going to be uh, some 22,000 houses in the long term within 30 years, and uh, it also will have. You know, a job per house, 22,000 jobs. Uh, but uh, Warrell Lily to be congratulated, they're the first, and uh, it's always great to be the first. And I'm sure that uh, when stage one is finished, stage two will open up and work will start on that. And uh, it's just, uh, you know, all, all full, full speed ahead. It's great. And a big plus for Cats fans, of course, uh, virtually across the road, we've got the other development, the Keystone Park, where the uh, big training facility will be there for the Geelong Football Club as well. Oh, yes, look, it's uh, this has been a well-structured uh, and well-managed process. It's taken a while to get to it, but, uh, you know, we're big on uh, building, um, you know, communities that are, for communities that are sustainable. There's no point in putting... Uh, putting these things uh, when you haven't got roads, when you haven't got community facilities and uh, the developers have been fantastic. A quarter of our whole development is um, basically earmarked for water and for green space and uh, we're very excited. We're, we're close to Lake Quanawari and uh, basically the whole development um, you know, with future schools, future parks and uh, enabled activity centre just down the road, Keystone as well. Um, it's a great, great position for everybody. I was just saying to the mayor earlier, down this end, the southern end, there's a nice gentle breeze down here. Uh, would be a lovely place to just uh, have your house and land package. Yeah, that's right. I mean, for for a good price, you can be sort of 10 minutes south of Geelong, 10 minutes to Bowen Heads, 10 minutes to Torquay, um, position-wise. And you're part of what we think will be a real new um, and exciting community as well, with, with local schools, local shops, and uh, just an ability just to walk down to a park and have a kick. At Warralilly Armstrong Creek, in front of some very attractive house and land packages, this is Ian Nichols for Geelong. Thank you, Ian. This is News Geelong, Wednesday edition, as we go to a break and return with more after this.